What is going on guys? We've got another one for the iPhone 15 Pro and it's going to be a case from Taurus. We're going to go ahead and get right into it starting with the packaging. As you can see pretty much all black box, a little bit of holographic kind of signaling going on over here at the top. Then you get Taurus branding in the bottom right corner. Taurus, simple but unique. Working around to the back, you get a ton of the features of the case which we're going to go ahead and talk about all of them as we get through the video. You can always pause and read if you would like to. But something that I do want to take note of is the fact that they are carbon neutral. Absolutely love to see that. We've got to think about the environment, even when it comes to stuff like this. But let's go ahead and get right into the case. So as I'm opening this up, I'm going to go ahead and throw the price for this case up on the screen. Empty box aside from this. You get a little tray that is holding it. You get a little card. Let's start a wonderful journey, as you can see right there. So nice to see that. And then we get a little bag that is holding the case itself. So this is going to be one of Taurus's kind of ultra slim cases. I'm a huge fan of slim cases, but I want to know if you guys are too. Go ahead and let me know in the comments down below if you absolutely love slim cases or if you think they're totally useless, if you think they're not worth it at all. But here is the case itself. Of course, I had to go ahead and get the black one. But as we look over at the inside, you can see it is really just all one uniform material. There's no kind of impact foam or anything like that we see on some other cases. You can see that despite it being a thin case, it has MagSafe, which is extremely important. Every case needs MagSafe at this point, come on. But that is really all there is to see. So let's go ahead and grab the phone, which is right here. The iPhone 15 Pro in black titanium. And we're just gonna go ahead and snap this right in. So you can see right there, that is what the case looks like. All black, very minimal, sleek look. And let's go ahead and start with the fit test, just because it can already tell that it's a very stiff material very rigid so you get pretty much no pull anywhere i guess a tiny bit of pull down here at the bottom but it is really nothing too serious really nice to see there looking over at the back we can get into some protection starting with our cameras you can see you do get a pretty decent lip you actually get a very decent lip over on the back especially for a slim case nice to see there let's go ahead and do the wobble test see how this goes starting at the bottom where you're normally going to be typing you can see you have pretty much no wobble, which is nice to see. But as we work our way up to the top, you are going to get plenty of that wobble, especially in the top left corner. And that is just something that you kind of have to take into account when you want decent camera protection, or actually even better than decent camera protection on a slim case. But looking over at the front, let's see how we're doing over here. So yeah, not too surprised. Since it is a slim case, you really don't get a front lip over here you get a tiny tiny one if you can kind of see right right here and you can definitely feel that little lip but i do have a tempered glass screen protector on here so that's what i'm going to be looking at if you don't have one you are going to get slightly more of a lip now looking over at our volume buttons right here and our action button our action button actually has some slight detailing on it which is very nice to see i've really appreciated that in the past couple of days of testing I still tend to get confused between the action button and the top volume button sometimes. So it's nice that you can kind of feel that little line and you can tell. These are metal buttons, which are very nice to see. Let's go ahead and test this out. So the action button is actually extremely tactile and very nice to press. It is not stiff at all or anything like that, which we've seen on some other cases. So I definitely appreciate that right there. Now let's go ahead and test out the volume buttons. Both volume buttons are also extremely tactile and nice to press. They are kind of like floating buttons, so I did come to expect that. Moving over to the bottom, you have a very nice rectangle shape cutout for your USB-C port. It is extremely rectangle shape, which I absolutely love, but that's totally just preference, not really a big deal. Over here on either side, we do get accurate cutouts for your speaker and your microphone right there. Moving over to the right side, nothing else except the power button right here. Let's go ahead and test this out. So 
So super nice to see that this button is also extremely tactile, also a metal button, very nice to press. Over on the top, completely closed off. So you do get all of that protection. It is still very nice, it's just a pretty thin package. But of course, it is a MagSafe case, so we have to go ahead and try that. Starting with the Spigen Omag ring, which is a foam grip and stand in one. Go ahead and snap this on. And you can definitely feel the strength right there. And yeah, this is not going anywhere. I definitely think the fact that this has a silicone back is helping the situation, but even then those magnets are nothing to play with. So setting it down and trying it out like this. You see it just folded that stand. So pushing it out like that. You have absolutely nothing to worry about. Moving forward to the Apple battery pack. Right here, we're gonna go ahead and test out some wireless charging as well as a bit of MagSafe strength. So let's go ahead and snap this on. It sticks very well. It does wirelessly charge just fine. You can see right here that it does not interfere with your camera lip, despite it being fairly large. You do have a little bit of a gap right there. You can see when I place my hand. So you have nothing to worry about back there. But it's like swiping it like this. Definitely feel those magnets. This does also have a silicone backing to it. So it sticks very well. Trying out some false drops. Okay, I did feel it kind of come off right there. But it tends to stick very well. So I think this is one of those cases that if you drop the phone, even if it's a slightly higher drop, maybe waist high, a little bit more than that, your battery pack is probably going to stay on. Definitely nice to see that. We can pull this off. And now we're going to go ahead and test out the leather wallet. Snap this one on and see how it does. Snap it on. Do you get that nice little animation? And since this does not have a silicone back, I'm a little worried. I don't know if it's going to do as well as the past cases, past uh, accessories, but it does tend to feel fairly nice. We're going to go ahead and do some false drops. So it did lose it right there, slipped off. And it did just miss a line right there, but can't get it. It did come off that time. It did come off. I did feel it. So I think it is still pretty strong. I don't think a super high drop it is going to hold on to. Maybe a smaller drop, you won't lose it. But if you do drop this case, drop this phone with this case on, you're running the setup, you might have to pick up your wallet. Just something to keep in mind. Something else that I want to point out is the fact that this material does tend to kind of hold oils from your hands and things like that. I have noticed it in the past couple of days, but if I were to wipe my hand around it, you do see pretty much those oils kind of get caught up. But they do wipe off just fine. It's really easy to wipe off even with a microfiber cloth or from your shirt, you can use that to wipe it off. Just something I wanted to mention. But we are going to do the final MagSafe test, which is this Nomad Base 1 charging base. It is a very heavy, all glass, all, ma all metal base. We're going to see if this case can lift it. So we're going to snap this on right there. Wirelessly charges just fine, of course. We're going to see just touching the phone. See that base comes right up off of the desk. Really nice to see that right there. But now let's try again, just touching the sides of the phone, not the base. Let's see if it can lift it and turn it on its side and it can can we give it a little shake that was actually more than just a little there are most cases that can't even do that so that is definitely impressive to see those are some very impressive magnets i think this case gets I think I'd have to give it a solid 8, 8.5 out of 10 when it comes to MagSafe strength. Definitely nice to see that. But that is it for this one, guys. So I'll give you all one last look around and then we'll get out of here. So back to our cameras, you can see that despite it being a minimal case, you do get very nice lip protection on those lenses. Over on the front, very, very minimal screen lip. So just something to keep in mind. You get your metal buttons, which you do get a little bit of an accent right there on the action button. Very nice to see. And then your two volume buttons, all very tactile. Over here on the bottom, you do get a 
very rectangle shaped cutout for your USB-C port. I personally love to see that. And then accurate speaker and microphone cutout. Over on the right side, you do get a metal button for your power button, which is also very tactile and then completely closed over on the top. But that is it for this one, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit that like button down below. It helps me out a ton. And if you want to see more videos like this, because there's definitely more coming, remember to subscribe. If you have a specific case you want me to review or any accessory you want, you want to see on the channel, leave it down in the comments below. I try to respond to all of you guys, and I want to show you off stuff that you guys are interested in. So that is it for this one, guys. I hope to see you all in the next one, and I'm out.